All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at factoring polynomials in the form x squared plus bx plus c. Uh, but first, to kind of help us see how to do that, I wanted to start by just multiplying these binomials here and seeing if we can find a connection. Because factoring a polynomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c will ultimately result in something that looks like this. So let's see what happens when we factor x plus 5, or sorry, when we multiply x plus 5 and x plus 4. So let's go ahead and use an area model here. We've got x plus 5 and x plus 4. So x times x would be x squared. x times 5 is 5x. x times 4 is 4x. 4 times 5 is 20. We can combine like terms. We add 5x and 4x, and we get 9x. So if we multiply these, our product would be x squared plus 9x plus 20. Now, you may notice right, that 20 here is the product of 5 and 4. So in other words, we take these two constant terms, 5 times 4, and we multiply them and we get 20. And if we were to look here at this coefficient of x, 9 is the sum of 5 and 4. Right? So we can see that 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 plus 4 is 9. And so that can help us when it comes time to factor a polynomial, right? If we wanted to go the other direction, let's say we started with this, we would know, okay, I need to come up with two binomials, and my constant terms need to be something that multiply to 20 and add to 9. And so in this case, we would know that would be 5 and 4. So let's take a look at doing that here. So writing a polynomial as a product of factors is called factoring. To factor x squared plus bx plus c as x plus p times x plus q, you need to find p and q such that p plus q equals b and p times q equals c. That's what we just discussed here. So let's look at an example here. We want to factor x squared plus 10x plus 16. So again, we want to remember that the product of our two constants. So if we were to write it in the form x plus p times x plus q, we know that p times q needs to equal 16, and we know that p plus q needs to equal 10. So we've got this little table here where we can list out factors of 16 and what the sums of those factors would be. So we'll notice here, right, 16 is positive and 10 is positive. So we know in this case that both p and q will need to be positive. So let's look at factors of 16. We know we have 1 and 16. We know we have 2 and 8. And we know we have 4 and 4. So we can look at the sum of those factors. Well, I know 1 plus 16 is 17. I know 2 plus 8 is 10. And 4 plus 4 is 8. So only one of these will meet my criteria, right? I need it to multiply to 16, and I need it to add to 10. So 2 and 8 will be my factors. So I could factor this as x plus 2 times x plus 8. And just to check our work here, right? create a little area model. x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, x times 8 is 8x, and 8 times 2 is 16. And then 2x plus 8x would be 10x, so we would have x squared plus 10x plus 16, which is what I started with, so we know that we have factored this correctly. All right, now let's look at a situation where b is negative and c is positive. So in this case, right, we know when we factor, right, again, x plus p, x plus q, 
Well, this time we know p times q needs to equal positive 12, and p plus q needs to equal negative 8. So in this case, we're going to need something a little bit different. Right? Now let's think about that. If we were to multiply two numbers together that will still be positive, and add two numbers together that will still, or that will be negative, we know that we need to be multiplying two negative numbers here. Right? Because for example, if only one of these were negative, let's say I had x plus 5 and x minus 3. If only one of those is negative, we're always going to end up with a negative c value here. Right? 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And if both of them were positive, we know that we would end up with a positive b value here. So we know these both need to be negative. So let's look at factors of 12 with some negative numbers here. So I know that it could be negative 1, negative 12. It could be negative 2, negative 6, or negative 3, negative 4. So negative 1 plus negative 12 would be negative 13. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. And negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. So we can see that this here meets our criteria. So if we were to factor x squared minus 8x plus 12, we would get x minus 2, x minus 6. And once again, if we wanted to check that, okay, we can multiply these two binomials. This time, let's use the FOIL method. So first, that's x times x is x squared. Outside would be x times negative 6. That's negative 6x. Inside would be negative 2 times x. That's negative 2x. And last would be negative 2 times negative 6 which is 12, and we know that negative 6x minus 2x is negative 8x. So once again, this is the same, so we factored this correctly. Now let's look at one more example. So this time, we will have a positive b value and a negative c value. So we'll notice again, b is positive 4, c is negative 21. So we know that in order to get a negative c value, right, the only way to do that is to have one positive and one negative here. So either p or q will be negative. So we want to look at possible factors of 21. So we know that this could be, for example, Right, you could have negative 1 and positive 21. And you could have negative 21 and positive 1. And you could have negative 7, positive 3. And you could have negative 3, positive 7. So if we look at the sum of these factors, negative 1 plus 21 is 20. Negative 21 plus 1 is negative 20. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, and negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. So we'll notice in this case, these will be our two numbers, our p and q values. So if we were to write this factored, it would be x minus 3, x plus 7. So let's check here using our area model. So we have x minus 3 and x plus 7. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times positive 7 is 7x. And negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. So that would give us x squared minus 3x plus 7x minus 21. We combine like terms and we get x squared plus 4x minus 21. So we know that we have factored this correctly.